ಔಷಧಿ ಓಕೆ ಗೋಪಿ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ collections. so set uh, list uh, map uh, so that is enough so the knowledge is enough so if we have uh, springs aware of that so then is a add on actually because here uh, first of all collection is enough why because so we are always playing with the data so we'll get some format we have to convert into the expected format actually so source system is sending some format either it might be it's a csv or else it's a flat file or else it's a uh something else whatever the format it is our job is we need to convert it how target system was expecting that format we have to convert it. so that is the role we have to play here so that's why might be target system is expecting some object suppose you are converting to the um some salesforce object some you are integration between the some java portal to salesforce so you are getting a json format because people are prefer so always json because it's a lightweight object so that's why people will prefer json only if you get the json so we need to convert into the uh, salesforce object s yes object actually so that we have to take care we have to convert into the salesforce object so nowadays that is also not required because we have already con- connector is there earlier you know in the 3.5 version we don't have that connector so that the uh, salesforce connector we don't have that's why we need to convert into the s object type action so we have to use some data mapper earlier so using that we have to convert it action but nowadays just we need to map drag and drop it that uh, salesforce connector so then we have a transformer is there so that is nothing but a transform data wave is there just we need to drag and drop it action if a uh, connector is not the sub, not there suppose we are using a community edition so we have a two types of editions i told about that so if we have a community edition you need to take it the responsibility to convert into the s object type so that's why here we need to convert into the some json to the map and then list to the map suppose you are using some batch job suppose you so if you are aware of salesforce so we need to dump the records at a time 1000 uh, 2000 records we need to dump at a time so that time our badge our mule soft badge job is one of the component that component will uh, i'm sorry to, uh, uh, venkat i'm sorry to interrupt you yeah. badge job is nothing but ba- which the job which runs in background is that it not in background <laughs> actually so generally Uh, sequential manner one by one record will go on insert right if you use for each if you use for each loop so the for each loop also here suppose my requirement is i am getting a th- uh, one lakh records at a time so i need to dump into the one lakh records into the uh, salesforce generally we have a uh, salesforce uh, we have a uh, separate software is there introduced by salesforce itself so they use that salesforce software they dump it actually but uh, in mails of how we'll do it So we have a batch up so at a time i want i want to i want to insert 5000 records at a time i want to commit 5000 at a time so but generally if you go for for each loop so in a loop it a sequential manner one by one record will insert it actually but if you use a job batch up 5000 records insert at a time so that is a purpose of fi- uh, batch job action so that's why here uh, coming to the conclusion for your question so we are always converting into the one format to the another format actually so that's why collections is the enough plain collections okay coming to the spring why it is a add on so here if you observe any component if you drag and drop so so that is nothing but you know it's a xml format actually oh i'm sharing my screen if you just drag and drop any component see so the back end in the back end always uh, it's nothing but xml actually 
if you are aware about spring, spring is also an XML, right? So if you are aware of about spring, that is an add-on actually. You mean spring or string? Spring, S-P-R-I-N-G, spring. So uh, also yeah. Venkat, uh, yeah, tell me. quick question. Yeah. So, so what is what is MuleSoft actually? So when I went through the when I was in demo, I heard hmm. like hmm. is used to input from client to destination. Okay, so I'm a vague like yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm yes. a non. Yeah. Let's say I'm a technical guy. If yes. I need to know what is hmm. so, yeah. So could you like uh, explain me what it is sure. in a very uh, sure. simple term? So. Uh, before MuleSoft, so we have a ESD concept, Enterprise Service Bus concept you have. Forget the Mule. So we have a concept okay. called Enterprise Service Bus. What Enterprise ESBs will do? Not only MuleSoft, we have so many ESBs in the market. Generally ESBs, what they will do, it's like a, uh, you know, it's like a donkey. So what earlier donkeys will do, it will take the whole it will take the some kind of clothes or uh, some data we can say payload it will take the uh, things then it will uh, uh, move to some uh, uh, client to the uh, I mean source to the destination right so some one one village to some other village or else one city to some other city so it will take the data it will move on right so that is a donkey uh, people will use donkeys earlier days so here also ESB same way it will work actually it will take the data it will take the payload from one location to so it will travel in the middle so then it will reach the destination with the data so that ESBs will do okay it's like a bus you can say so will travel in a bus one place to another place right so similarly here so the ESBs will do same thing enterprise service buses it will take the data it will move on so it will reach the destination then it will give that payload whatever the payload that hold so it will give them actually so here in the market we have so many ESBs are there so one of the ESP is MuleSoft actually so here MuleSoft will play same role so it will take that so I, you are talking about client and destination so you can say client and server or else uh, source and destination these are the all our same terminology so client in the sense it's a uh, source where it will start so suppose you are trying to insert some uh, uh, record into the database so generally you can insert directly also suppose my requirement is I have a PHP portal okay user will enter some data so suppose profile filling take profile filling so he is enter some mandatory fields username and password first he will log in and again some he is creating some record so for, for that he is enter some uh, first name, last name, email ID, whatever the mandatory fields, he just enter, he is uh, clicking the submit button. Whenever he click the submit button, so generally it should insert into the database. So that is without ESB also that should happen. Okay. So there is a PHP portal in the back end is some MySQL or else some other, uh, uh, some other uh, Hadoop database or else some other database, whatever the SQL databases. Nowadays we have a no SQL databases also come into the picture. Whatever the database he is trying to insert the record. So here without mills of without middleware the record will insert. But problem is here we are facing some issues actually. Suppose not only uh, PHP is the client might be tomorrow some other uh, JavaScript or else some other whatever the uh, front end front end side HTML5 or else some Java portal or else some other .NET portal like this we have so many clients try to insert into the record into the same database it's kind of clumsy actually sometimes you know uh, the, uh, the database itself it won't respond or else network issues will face it or else so many issues are facing if it is a one-to-one -one communication you understood right so that is a one-to-one -one communication we are facing people are facing the problems these type of issues so that too uh, who is the who is the server the server in the sense what is the database he is talking to about he need to in he need to tell to the the front end thing so the front end uh, the front end side also what is the database you need to tell the database side also what is the front end who is going to insert it should be knowing each other actually so this type of issues we are facing okay so it's not high visibility it's not high visibility so these are so many network issues we are facing so that's why so for avoiding this one-to-one -one communication okay so they introduce a ESBs in the middle 
So here ESB will take care of so many things. Suppose suddenly the database is down. Okay. So if it is a one-to-one -one communication, so we are getting some 500 issue because server is not down. The server is down, right? So we are facing that issues. But here, if you if you uh, keep the middleware, so the middleware will take the responsibility. If the server is down also, might be this guy, middleware guy will maintain some queues. There is a concept called queues. So active MQ, rabbit MQ, in the market, so many queues are there actually. After taking the message from the PHP client or some other client, so it will hold into the queue. So whenever the server is up and running, that time will respond, that time will go on in some fashion. So whatever the issues we are facing in the one-to-one -one communication, so we are trying to avoid using this middleware sanction. So Venkat, yeah, uh, can I ask one question? Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, you said uh, there is number. If there is number of clients, yes. Uh, if we can send number of clients simultaneously uh, through the uh, uh, to the server, hmm. so server becomes clumsy, right? When when we are using uh, MuleSoft, hmm. it becomes uh, it becomes goes to like um, uh, if we want to send like what is what we call a web portal, Cisco web portal to uh, server. Hmm. Through MuleSoft, it becomes easy. Yes. So, but you, but how it's possible? How how the MuleSoft manage these number of clients to the uh, server? If we want web portal to the server, how we send the only web portal to the server? No. Otherwise, if we want some X Y Z to the server, how MuleSoft send X Y Z to the server? See, first of all, whatever. So that uh, I'm not saying about. So it should not work in the front end without more middleware. It will work, but we are facing network issues. So these are visibility issues. We are facing this type of issues. See, generally, forget the mail. So we are trying to log into the Gmail. So lakhs of people, crores of people trying to hit the Gmail server. So how it will respond? So there is a might be there. There are they are not meeting any middlewares. So each person has separate session they will generate. It's a separate session. So here also same thing happened. Mule will give suppose uh, uh, middleware have so so many clients trying to hit it. Each person have a separate user, so separate client it is. So it have separate own session. That own session it will go. It won't interrupt to other session. It's normal. It's kind of client server communication. If we, Gmail is the front end, so some Gmail server is the back end. So each person have it will generate a separate session actually. If you are aware about servlet concept, okay, so it will separate, it will generate separate session for us actually. That's why it won't disturb to other people. It will happen their own session. Okay. Also, a quick question. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, in general, real time lo mule soft ante meru ante ok example evagal thara like. In the real time scenario, for example, any company mm -hmm. uh, integration platform that uses MuleSoft, and like it will work out. For mm -hmm. example, I heard like uh, you know, one of our employees, Srikanth, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. some health care client, okay. or else, uh, you know, like Coke or some mm -hmm. other some other company, mm -hmm. okay. integration uh, platform can the mule implement just yes, no? okay. what happens the account in checker integrate just yes, okay so I will I will take one scenario I will explain you oh, okay can you see my screen yeah. here uh, actually I will take some scenario like uh, so create an instant so if client uh, any client will face the issue they will try to they will try to create a ticket the ticket will generate into somewhere else i will take the scenario so i have a multiple portals like uh, there is a persona portal there is one of the portal next one is e gain is the portal these are all portals next uh, evo is the portal next uh, foshak is the portal and then hiro is the portal so the we have a uh, several portals okay, okay. so here if anybody facing issue, anybody is facing issue, they want to raise an instant. They want to raise an instant. That instant should create under service now. Might be you heard this terminology. Service now is also a very bit boom is there actually. Okay, service now. What is so, service now? Service now. So I, know, 
I know Sorry. what service now is. Yeah. All these people here, they don't know what service now is. So yeah. Where, uh, you so know. It, it's like a, it's like a, uh, we can say, it is a one kind of uh, 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 storage also internal storage, like Salesforce. If you, if you see Salesforce, Salesforce have a internal storage as well as uh, front end. Okay, both are there. There is no separate database here. So here also it's kind of one system. So where it will hold, hold the memory, hold the data as well as front end, as well as it will expose own APIs. You understood? Uh, <clears throat> Vinkit, uh, as far yeah. what I mean, what I understood is uh, what what all the uh, issues you face in uh, Persona, Egain, you know, FR, and so mm. uh, that is recorded in incident, and this incident is nothing but you call ticket. Yes. Ticket. Mm. If I'm right. Mm. So uh, manage now. You might have heard about the management ticketing tool. Yes. Yeah, that it, is that thing similar right? to that? I mean, service now is it the ticketing tool or? Manage now is the ticketing tool, but it, it won't expose any APIs. That's right. We have a another another ticketing tool called in the Cisco own Cisco also using some other uh, uh, not remembering. Yeah, many, but, uh, yeah, uh, many ticketing tools remedy. are there. Yeah, yeah, remedy. Yes, exactly. Cisco is using remedy. So, but here difference is so service now has exposing own APIs. It will create the API. So, so, so that kind so of feature is the content. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, uh, just to basic idea, I wonder. Like, I don't know. See, see, that's what. That's what. Forget, forget the service now. Whatever it is, service now is a system. It hold the memory. It it can hold the whatever you are trying to insert it. That will go and create the ticket into the service now. You understand? Okay. Okay, forget that service now what it is. It's a separate application. It can hold the hold the tickets, whatever you are going to try to create uh, from persona again. So wh whoever facing the issue, they just raise so what the ticket. Is in your These are all just portal. portals, front end portals. <coughs> front end portals. So okay. so these have whoever portals, right? These portal have thousands of clients. Okay. So if any client is facing the issue in the persona, okay, so they will raise the ticket to, so uh, to that persona people, okay, so they have to take it, they have to resolve that issue, understood. So like that, again also number of clients are there. Anybody is while using the application, if they will face the issue, then they have to raise the ticket. So like that, we have a several clients are there, so they have to raise the instant. Okay, based on SLA, might be one day, two days, based on the priority. We will get sometime P1, P2, P3 issues also. So based on P1, if it is an immediate resolution required, so like that they will raise the ticket. So whenever will raise the ticket, that will dump into the service now. Okay, so, <clears throat> so here, while, while trying to create an incident, so we introduce a middleware called Milson. Okay. So now, see, without middleware also we can insert. Persona can insert into the service now. You can uh, insert into the service now. You will insert into the service now. But here problem is, so how we'll interact with the systems, they exposed as a API. So API they exposed. Understood. Service now people exposed as a API. Here MuleSoft will consume their SOAP API. Understood. So that way we are interacting to the service now. Here problem is, so you, you told directly also we can contact without MuleSoft. Here problem is how MuleSoft advantage here. Now, so this guy exposed as a SOAP API. So while exposing as a SOAP API, he will expect some format. Might be he will expect some 10 mandatory fields, 10 optional fields. In the mandatory fields also, he will expect an object. It's not a field. It's not a text data type. Might be it's a object also. There is a contact object, and then uh, there is a array. He will expect like that. In the ten ten mandatory fields also, he will expect uh, different objects also. If you see here, so he will expect ten mandatory fields, and then ten optional fields. If you send a mandatory fields, optional fields, anyway optional. If you send or not send, it just ignore it. In the 10 of mandatory fields, if you send it, he can able to create the instant. 
otherwise he can't able to create he will give response like boss this is a mandatory field we are expecting like this he will give the response in the 10 mandatory fields also the return type itself it was saying like it was expecting like so one is an object another one is some string another one is some uh, array type like this he is expecting okay so same whoever trying to hit the request that guy should send that this information he know he need to send the object first field is an object second field is an, uh, second field is an string a third field is array like that he need to send it otherwise he won't accept the data whatever you are sending payload that's payload is nothing but a data so he was expecting like this how that guy was expecting that way you need to send it okay so now uh, coming to here see if persona should send the request so they this format should send it so then so service now can able to create the ticket so then again should send same format so but here problem is so, so the, this is the same api for all consumers so now in future some more 10 clients will come into the picture they have to send same format but these are all some fixed tools actually if, if you go for hiro they have their own restrictions they 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 won't send whatever service now expected they can't able to send it actually because they have their own format they have some governor rules they have some restricted or restricted rules they have so that's why they they won't send how the service now expected in the format so that's why here means of will take care of that part actually boss whatever you are sending just send it I will take care that I, I will take care of the things how service now will expect I will convert it I will send it so that here mills of will take care actually responsibility suppose he is sending so he unable to send five uh, ten mandatory fields he can able to if he can able to send only five fields five mandatory fields remaining five mandatory fields so mills of will talk to somewhere else somewhere else third party so might be it's a database some other database Hiro is maintaining some other database so go there based on the existing five fields go there and bring five fields from the database itself then so insert the ticket into the service now so that middleware will take care the, our meals of will talk to the third party then based on existing five fields it will talk to the third party then it will bring the remaining five fields it, it uh, enrichment happen means merging happened that five fields existing and so newly coming five fields it will merge it it will take care so then it will try to insert the ticket into the service now. so these things will take care of attention you understood so this type of scenarios so meals of we are using actually so whatever the format we are not restricting to the client actually because these are all people so persona ega and evo these are that uh, these people are the clients will go to the business to us actually that's why we won't restrict uh -huh. So if you restrict it, we lose some amount. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Venkat, uh, yes. like you were saying, this this mule sort hmm. uh, sits in between the front end and the middleware yes. in a three-tier architecture. Hmm. Uh, will this be installed in between on the application server or in between application server and database? Where will this mule sort sit and to what all uh, uh, what do you call it um, services it contacts to? So this is a see this is a separate system. So we is Millsoft have own servers, Millsoft have uh, on premises server. So it's it's a totally it's a separate system actually. So here these people exposed as API, Millsoft will consume. Millsoft will expose as a REST API. These clients will use that. It's a separate system actually. It is not part of the existing things. I mean persona. Uh, this service now so this not part of these two things actually it's not it won't use uh, other servers also it have separate system totally separate thing so Tirish and uh, Sudhakar yeah. so what did you understand Sudhakar Chetha uh -huh. In general, Mulesoft and the EMR domain. 
ఇక్కడ మనకి నంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్లయింట్స్ ఉన్నాడు కాబట్టి ప్రతి క్లయింట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఒకవేళ ఒకే ఎట్ ది సేమ్ టైమ్ లో నంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్లయింట్స్ అనుకో ప్రాబ్లం అరేంజ్ చేస్తే మనం మొదటి ఒకసారి వాట్ ఇస్ మ్యూల్స్ ఆఫ్ సో మ్యూల్స్ ఆఫ్ అంటే ఏంటి నీకు ఏమ అర్థమైంది ఆ అదే సరే మొత్తం ఒకటి సెండ్ అప్పుడు ఆ సర్వర్ అనేది ఆ ప్రాబ్లం అయింది కాబట్టి మనం ఒక్కొక్క క్లయింట్ ఒక్కొక్క క్లయింట్ ని సర్వర్ కి పంపించాలంటే ఇక్కడ మ్యూల్ సాఫ్ట్ ద్వారా వన్ బై వన్ ను పంపించుకొని సాల్వ్ చేసుకోవడానికి ఇక్కడ మిడిల్ వేర్ లో మనం మ్యూల్ సాఫ్ట్ ని యూజ్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఓకే అండ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ నీకేం అర్థమైంది యా బేసికల్లీ మ్యూల్ సాఫ్ట్ ఇస్ మిడిల్ వేర్ టు ఓకే ఇఫ్ దేర్ ఇస్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్లయింట్స్ బట్ దేర్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ వన్ సర్వర్ టు యాడ్ సమ్ నెట్వర్క్ ఇష్యూ సో మీకు ఇంకా క్లియర్ గా ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయాలి అంటే మ్యూల్ సాఫ్ట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ లైక్ లెట్స్ ఇప్పుడు మీరు యుఎస్ లో ఉన్నారు యుఎస్ లో ఒక ఫ్లైట్ టికెట్ బుక్ చేసుకోవాలి అంటే వాట్ విల్ యూ డూ ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ గోయింగ్ ఫర్ అమెరికన్ ఎయిర్లైన్స్ ఆర్ వాట్ యూ కాల్ సౌత్ వెస్ట్ వాట్ యూ డూ ఇస్ యూ బేసికలీ గో ఫర్ ఎ కయాక్ డాట్ కామ్ లెట్ సే రైట్ సో కయాక్ డాట్ కామ్ లోకి మల్టీ కయాక్ డాట్ కామ్ లో లాగిన్ అవ్వగానే యూ హ్యావ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అబౌట్ మల్టిపుల్ ఎయిర్లైన్స్ మల్టిపుల్ ఫ్లైట్స్ అంతే కదా సో హోటల్ గురించి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఉంటుంది ఫ్లైట్ టికెట్ గురించి ఉంటుంది కార్ రెంటల్ గురించి ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఉంటుంది ఎవ్రీథింగ్ కయాక్ డాట్ కామ్ లో ఉంటుంది సో ఆ కయాక్ డాట్ కామ్ లో కీ ఎట్లా వస్తుంది అన్ని ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ అన్ని ఎట్లా ఇంటిగ్రేట్ అవుతున్నాయి బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ సో ఎవ్రీ ఫ్లైట్ టికెట్ లైక్ ఎయిర్లైన్స్ కంపెనీ వాడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇక్కడ మన వెంకట్ చెప్పిన కేసు లో ఆయన నాకేదో అన్నారు కదా అది ఎపిక్ సమ్ అదర్ థింగ్ మల్టిపుల్ మీరు అన్నారు చూడండి ఒక ఫ్లైట్ పోర్టల్ దానికి ఇన్ని ఫ్లైట్ ప్రైజెస్ ఎట్లా వస్తాయి అర్థం కావడానికి సో ఇన్ జనరల్ ఏంటి అంటే ఇట్లా మల్టిపుల్ ప్లాట్ ద సైట్స్ నుంచి ఇట్లా ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఒక ప్లాట్ఫామ్ లోకి వస్తుంది సో దట్ ఈస్ త్రూ మిడిల్ వేర్ అంతే కదా వెంకట్ ఎస్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ సో దట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ యూ వాస్ సెయింగ్ దట్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ రైట్ సో ఏపీఐ ఆల్సో ఇట్స్ త్రూ మిడిల్ వేర్ ఓన్లీ హ్యాపెండ్ యాక్చువల్లీ సో సో వీ ఆర్ బిల్డింగ్ ఎస్ వెన్ ఎవర్ దట్ ఫ్రంట్ అండ్ పేజ్ లోడెడ్ ఇన్ దట్ సో దట్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ వాట్ ఎవర్ కయాక్ డాట్ కామ్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ సో వెన్ ఎవర్ దట్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ ఈస్ లోడెడ్ ఇట్ విల్ పుల్ ద ఆన్ ద ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ద ఆల్ ద సైట్స్ సో లైక్ హోటల్స్ లైక్ దే హ్యావ్ దే డేటా బేసెస్ రైట్ from the database mm-hmm. they will fetch the data they are trying to show on the interface okay so adu one example so indaka thanu venkat gar cheppina example example lo aithe ipudu for example meer edo company und ankonni edanna for example oka health care client ki ellaru health care client lo hello sudhakar and tirish are you there yeah. so health care client lo like vallaki multiple tools untai for example తను అన్నట్టు ఫోర్ ఆర్ ఫైవ్ టూల్స్ ఉన్నాయి సో ఆ ఫైవ్ టూల్స్ లో ఏదన్నా ఇష్యూ వచ్చింది అని అంటే ఆటోమేటిక్ గా ఒక టికెట్ క్రియేట్ చేయాలి ఓకే సో ఒక సర్వీస్ నవ్ అనేది ఒక టికెటింగ్ టూల్ సో ఆటోమేటిక్ గా టికెట్ క్రియేట్ చేయాలంటుంది తను చెప్పిన ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ టూల్స్ లో అవి కూడా ఫిక్స్డ్ టూల్స్ ఉంటాయి సో దాంట్లో ఏం సమ్ ప్రొపరేట్ మధ్యలో ఏంటంటే నువ్వు జస్ట్ బికాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎ మ్యూల్ సాఫ్ట్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ మీరు ఆ క్లయింట్స్ నుంచి ఆ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ టూల్స్ నుంచి ఎర్రర్ వస్తే ఆ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ జస్ట్ మ్యూల్ లోకి పంపించేస్తుంది సో మ్యూల్ ఏం చేస్తుంది అంటే సర్వీస్ నౌకి ఎట్లా కావాలో ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఏ ఫార్మాట్ లో కావాలో ఆ ఫార్మాట్ లో మ్యూల్ ఆటోమేటిక్ గా తయారు చేసి దానికి పంపిస్తుంది అంతే కదా వెంకట్ అర్థమైందా సుధాకర్ అండ్ తిరీష్ వెంకట్ గారు అండ్ వన్ మోర్ థింగ్ ఇది ఇన్ఫర్మేటిక్ గా ఇస్ ఇన్ఫర్మేటిక్ కాంపిటేటర్ టు రూల్స్ ఆఫ్ టెన్ కట్ అది ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ ఫార్మాట్ రెండు ఇన్ఫర్మేటిక్ ఇస్ ఇట్స్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ జాబ్స్ రైట్ 
you will create one job that will execute uh, certain cron jobs actually we will create certain time so in the uh, in the psd of a certain time it will it, they want to execute it's kind of jobs we create the jobs and the jobs will export here it's not a we'll create the jobs as well we'll create total uh, services we'll, we can implement it actually so whatever you are saying like kayak.com right whenever that interface is load all the whatever they are providing services right the services sh should load at a time so each and everything is a separate api that apis we can implement here actually That is Informatica is backend jobs. Uh, but because what I have so far I know uh, mm. about Informatica is equal to one of India. Lo, what we do is SBI mm. debit card. I use it in ICICI. Yes. ICICI has got different format. Yes. Lo, full system very on to it. Then SBI has got different format. Tani mm. na account is ICICI no ondi mm. and uh, then SBI lo draw ches na mana. Okay. E transaction SBL reflect and ICS account could reflect the value. So uh, this thing comes in Informatica. Yeah, that is that's what uh, so here just they are allowing you actually. Earlier what if you insert uh, in the ICS ATM if you keep it some other some other debit card, it won't allow actually because they, they it's a restricted actually that time. Now they allow you actually because everybody have uh, all the central database like that. So SBA information, SBA debit cards information, I say see how might be. So that's why they will allow it that they will read the card. So from the card, whatever the information they will read it, that is already they have actually. That's why they're trying to allow it. Allow it and once transaction happened, they're trying to reduce the amount from the existing amount, right? So they, they have access, that's it. They simply they allow, allow the access. It's not kind of, there is no API, it's not, nothing like that actually. Mm -hmm. So might be they have all the databases, whatever the central database they are minting. So that's based on the, mm -hmm. see whenever we are ins in inserting that SBA debit card into the ICICA, first they will talk to that, uh, that uh, ICICA database, is this SBA information is there or not, they will look into it actually. Might be otherwise, the SBA will allow to look into the their database. Generally, it should not happen actually because so everybody have their own privacy. They won't, they won't uh, allow the database actually. Might be these people are maintaining some central database. They will talk to the central database. If the information is available, then he is the uh, genuine user. So then they will allow it actually. So once transaction happened, might be internal some API is there. Once the transaction happened, it will go to the SBA uh, database. It will reduce the amount there also. Um, when so here, I have here, here, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, is that uh, code Java connectors uh, properties and a person? Not connectors, right? collections, collections. Co collections. Yes, so is there any uh, other prerequisites we need or just code Java? Oops, go all do. Oops, concepts net go all it. Basic Java understanding are the new school. And they got the link. Database actually the basic idea is enough actually. So generally they won't ask to write a queries. So so small small queries we should be able in a we should be a position in a write it actually. It's kind of select, insert, update, it's kind of uh, like yeah, DML. DML operations we can write. If we get large uh, like uh, uh, it's kind of uh, joins it's kind of stored procedures. So generally they have a separate team they are maintaining. They will share that uh, joints or else they will share that stored stored procedure information. So uh, we'll use that actually. <coughs> so here coming to that uh, earlier thing. So not only convert into one format actually, sometimes filtering we have to do it actually. Suppose we are getting 1 lakh, 2 lakhs records from the database. So I we can't able to show, suppose whatever you are saying, like Nibha saying some 
that uh, app that whatever that uh, you are going to book the uh, flight that is might be they have mobile app is there they have tablet app is there tablet application is there they have desktop application is there. think like this so wherever so we have to sh uh, show the proper data suppose they are using desktop you are trying to log in into the desktop you are going to book a ticket so when you try to log in into the desktop you can see at a time some uh, 50 7, 60 records you can see but in the mobile we can't able to see that 50 60 records at a time right so we can we can see in the mobile at a time five records uh, to 10 records we can see so that type of uh, page nation that type of things also we can achieve in the middleware so that is nothing but a filtering actually so based on the device suppose request is coming from the mobile okay so i will take the de device name based on the device i will try to hit to the uh, uh, database right so the api will give thousand records at a time so then thousand records we can't able to show uh, at a time in the mobile so i have to filter it that filter we can say we can do in the middleware itself okay if it is a tablet we can say some 30 40 records based on the device i can send only 30 records so that kind of uh, challenge also we can achieve it here mm -hmm. any device same application should achieve right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So any other questions? Uh, what will be the daily day-to-day uh, -day activity yeah. for this? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, that will uh, actually it's a one hour, one and one, one hour, fifteen minutes uh, uh, session it's actually every day. So based on your questions, we'll extend up to one and a half hour, no issue. So then every day that recording session I will share you. So we have to go through it every day. So if I spend one hour, so at least you people should spend one hour, one one and a half hour to two hours. Then you have to practice it. So then you have to come up with questions next day session. So first we'll constant on the issues actually, whatever you people are facing. So directly you can share your screen. So then we'll resolve the issues first in the session, first 15 minutes. Once resolve it, once uh, clear on the topic, next we'll go to the next topic actually. It's kind of inter integrating, integrate session actually, interactive session actually. It's not kind of a student trainer. So it will go, uh, I will explain you then go, uh, uh, I mean, we'll come up with without knowledge next session. It should not happen actually. It's kind of interactive session. You should practice it. Uh, uh, come up with questions next day. If you are facing issues in your laptop also, you can share your screen. I will resolve that issue. Then we'll go ahead next topic. Ah. Ah. Uh, tomorrow's, how do we have tomorrow? Sorry? Uh, when can they have classes and yeah? That Nigos will say. So once Nigos uh, will schedule the things, then we'll start. Yeah, I, I will. I mean, first two doubts and clear just one yeah. dude. Yeah, what, 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 what is Mool Anadi? Mikardamai, like what all the prerequisites? So yeah. then background Engavali, whatever information you want, Adi Teluskondi, Meta, if you want to go, if you want to go in deep, the regular sessions low, Elandi, okay, na? No, no, what I'm trying to say is, okay, we'll do a class in the DNT man tool, it's like installation man from the, I didn't count to the, we used to, I mean, you have a met, you know, you have time for it, so he will help you with all this stuff. Okay, na? Yeah. Okay, do. Sudhakaran Tirish. Yeah. Go. Any doubts? Uh, no, we are fine. Okay. Okay, Venkat, thanks yeah. for your time. Uh, yeah, I will give you a call. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Take it. Take it. Thank you. Thanks all. Thanks a lot, Venkat. Yeah.